Welcome to Clubek 9. My name is Hola Harry, and our video for today will talk about how to bind with Ruby Exchange with your Royal Q. Okay, so it's very easy, very straightforward. Okay, on Ruby, you don't need to um, verify your account before you can trade, but there are limits. Okay, there are limits. Now, before I go further, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate you when you subscribe to our channel. And then don't also forget to like this video if you like this content. Like so that it can reach more and more people. So thank you and let's go right ahead. So number one thing to ensure that you've, you are logged in. Okay, because I am already logged in into my account. Can you see that? Okay, so I've transferred um, $200 all the way from my Binance. I transferred it here and I'm already trading different coins. But what we are here is to ensure that I'm... I guide you on how to bind okay so also make sure that um, you open your um, real Q account okay make sure you open your real Q account so let's start from the um, the refresh button so here I'm um, on the on the screen on the home page you can see API binding so click on it then we have Ruby. I'd already bind it before but let's unbind it now so let's replace this so all this information we're going to enter them again so let's go now on binance on um ubi you have to copy your um your ip address copy it okay but that's the first thing you need to ensure that you you are able to create your api now on ubi click on home okay this is the home page okay then click on the profile at the top of the screen profile then click on general okay then you can see api management api management so click on create api so here the name just say real q real q okay then um, access is to read and also trade so you will not click on withdrawal then paste the ip can you see it paste the ip here so the next thing you need to do is to what confirm so you're going to verify all this then um let me quickly verify this and i'll come back after verification yes so after it has been verified Okay, I've done the verification process, then I will copy the API key. I'll copy. Okay, copy then I'll take it to real queue to input. So replace, then I'll replace the access key. Then I'll also replace the security key. Okay. So it pastes. Then after that, I will confirm. So can you see my API has been created? So I'll just need to verify my real queue code. So send code. So the code has been sent. So the code is nine three nine five two five. So I will I've read carefully the risk, then I will bind. Can you see that? Bound successfully. So with that my um hubi will start uh, working. Because already I have an um, active trade on my Hubi account. So I will check. Okay. So it's already trading. Yes. Can you see that? Yes. So that's how to use the Hubi account um, API to bind your real queue. So it's as simple as that. So guys, thank you. That, that will be all for this video. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And I like this 
video so that it can go viral. So thank you and see you in the next video.